Okay, in this video I just want to do an example of using series to evaluate limits. And the basic idea in, in these problems is uh, somewhere you're going to use a series expansion, cancel out what you can, try to factor out what you can, and then hopefully what you have left over will be a limit that you can do, is the basic idea. Um, typically anything that, that the, the, any terms that are floating around that aren't polynomials, those are the ones that you're going to want to do the series expansion on. So recall that there's a series expansion for arctangent of x. Okay, so that's what I'm going to expand in this case. And the series expansion for arctangent is from n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n x to the 2n plus 1, and all of that is divided by 2n plus 1. And I'm going to expand out a few terms here. We would have x minus x cubed over 3 plus x to the 5th over 5 minus x to the 7th over 7, um, etc. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to replace my arc tangent with this expansion um, on the right side, and then hopefully we'll see some things canceling out. So it says we'll have the limit as x approaches 0. We've got x minus, well, the uh, series expansion for arc tangent, which is x minus x cubed over 3 plus x to the fifth over 5. Um, etc. So that I'm not going to write them all down. And then in the denominator we originally had our x to the third power. So this is the thing we're going to try to take the limit of. And all I'm simply going to do is just do a little bit of algebra in the numerator. So we could, we could take the x minus the x and then that would cancel. And then if we distribute the x it looks like we would have positive x to the third over 3 um, negative x to the fifth over 5, it would become positive x to the seventh over 7, um, etc. We still have our x to the third in the denominator. And again, you know, to, to do the limit, we, we want to just plug in x equals 0, but again, we're dividing by 0 because of the x to the third in the denominator. Well, hey, conveniently, um, the way that these will be set up typically, uh, notice you can actually factor out an x to the third in the numerator. So I'm going to factor out x to the third power. And then I would simply have one third minus x squared over five uh, plus x to the fourth over seven, etc. Again, all of that is being divided by x to the third power. And now we can just simply cancel out the x to the third, x to the third, and now we have no problems plugging in uh, x equals 0. If we plug in x equals 0, now we'll get our answer. We'll simply be left with 1 third. Uh, we'll get minus 0 plus 0 minus 0 plus 0 when I plug in zeros for all the other x's. So it says, hey, that's our answer, just 1 third. So um, again, basic idea in these problems. Anything that's not a polynomial, typically that's where you'll use your series expansion you know, write out a few terms, cancel what is uh, readily cancelable, is that a word? Um, factor out something, typically to try to cancel out whatever's on the denominator, and then you'll just plug in the value. So, um, pretty typical type of problem. I think most other limit problems that involve series you could, you could approach in the exact same way.